found Paradise on Earth and it's Cape Town. This place isn't just a place, it's a feeling and it's one where adventure begins. to our favourite place in the world, Cape Town in South Africa. Our second time in this incredible city and whilst we're here, we will be showing you how to plan your ultimate trip. From meeting penguins, helicopter rides over the epic skyline, visiting Table Mountain, all the best beaches, restaurants, hotels and more. So keep watching if you want to find out all of our best spots. Welcome to Cape Town in South Africa. So today we are doing a tour of the peninsula in Cape Town. So we have just started at Musenberg Beach and later we're going to be heading down to see the penguins at Boulders Beach, explore Simon's Town and then we're going to go all the way to the Cape of Good Hope which is the very tip and we're going to come back via Chapman's Peak. After a quick coffee at Truth, named one of the best coffee spots in the world, it was time to hit the road with our tour guide, Admire. This wasn't our first tour with Admire. Back in 2022, when we first visited, he took us out for a day much like this one with our friends, and we loved him so much. His passion and knowledge of Cape Town is unmatched, and we knew he was the perfect man to show Lewis's parents the magic of Cape Town. Our first stop was Surfer's Paradise, Musenberg Beach. So one of the most famous things about Musenberg Beach, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it, is these colorful huts right behind me that actually just been redone. They've been completely knocked down and demolished. So the last time we were here, we had some pictures of these and they were nowhere near as colorful at that point, but they've been completely renovated and they look absolutely gorgeous. There's actually still a fence in front of them because they're not quite ready to be opened yet. And the purpose of these on this beach is that back in the 1980s before apartheid, this was a purely black and colored beach because of the segregation. So these were used as changing rooms for or anyone in those communities who wanted to change before they came to the beach. And it's really great that they've kept a little bit of that history here by keeping them here today. And not only that, they have become super famous and made this beach a absolute hotspot for people to visit Cape Town. We've just come for a short stop off in the Colk. Bay. I'm just stood here in Missouri Mamas, I'm pretty sure it's called. Yeah, Missouri Mamas. It's like a little quarter. There's some gorgeous boutique clothes here and jewelry. So we've just made it down to one of the most popular spots in Cape Town. If you haven't guessed it yet, it is Boulders Beach, which is the beach that you can walk around with the penguins, you can swim with the penguins in the wild. It's absolutely incredible. This is definitely one of our highlights when we came to Cape Town last time. And we're really excited to one, they show Lewis's parents exactly what we mean, and two, to see their reactions when they interact with the penguins. We'll let you in on a secret. To get the very best experience here, make sure you head through the rocks to see what awaits on the other side. places in the world but we yet to see any penguins so let's see if we can go find them. Where? <laughs> Where's for? <four? laughs> yeah. comes Michael Phelps. Talk 
trip. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> How was that then? That is like the closest I've ever been to a wild penguin. I think because we just, I just sat there for ages and then he like came towards me. But you can never be 100% sure with penguins because sometimes they look all cute but then they'll go for you. But he didn't go for me, so that's good. <laughs> Time for a swim? Time for a swim. And Wes? Look where our guide is. Let's go out there. <laughs> chatting away to someone. Best spot in the house. <laughs> Time to say goodbye to my favourite place. <laughs> For now, This was our journey to travel to South Africa's most western point, starting in Camps Bay before heading to Musenberg Beach, a quick stop in Cork Bay followed by lunch in Simonstown, meeting the penguins at Boulders Beach before heading to the Cape of Good Hope and ending with one of the best drives in the world, Chapman's Peak Drive. So look good for the trip. <laughs> <laughs> The first thing we did in the National Park was head up the funicular to the lighthouse. Go on, London. So can you imagine jumping off into the sea here? That is a jump. Can you jump? No, you can't jump, there's too many rocks. Nah, that's, that's death. Right there. That is death. Death. Not death. Whatever you can actually get down to that beach, can you? It's just a nice looking beach. Right, so where have we just been? So we're at the Cape... <laughs> <laughs> we're at Cape Point National Park and we've just gone up to the Cape Point Lighthouse. Now we're making our way back down. We've got some absolute cyclone running up and down this path. So yeah, we're making our way back down and then we're going to go to the Cape of Good Hope, which is the most southeastern point of the world. Southwestern. Southwestern. It's cool, isn't it? Whenever you're down, out in the cold, faithless and Die, your story's untold. Come take my hand. Look at those British pillars. <laughs> those pillars not look safe. They're safe. Where we can be free. There is a light shining for you. Guiding your way. Helping you through. In shadows and gloom. Timing. The sun is just dipping below the clouds. Just got a pair of There it is, look at that drive. Built into the cliff. Beautiful. If you want to book a tour with Admire, then drop us a comment or send us a DM. There we go. <laughs> to an area called Bo Cat. This is actually one of my favourite places in Cape Town. 
as you can see behind me, it's full of colourful houses. If you're from the UK, you might be familiar with Notting Hill, but they also have some similar style houses that are colourful, and it's just a really cute little stop off. We definitely recommend coming and checking this out. And if you're into art, they have some really cool art shops around here as well. want to experience the best Cape Town has to offer then we would recommend staying in Camps Bay or Backhoven. This stunning Villa Rosmarino was a very special place to stay with panoramic views of Camps Bay Beach and the Apostles. This villa and the next one in this video were both booked through Knox Rentals. You have not experienced breakfast until you have been to Jared's in Seapoint. Okay, good morning. Today we are at Franchuk. We are doing the famous wine tram. We have opted to do the orange line, which is most probably the most famous. So when you come here, there are loads of different coloured routes you can do. We tried to do the orange route last time and it had sold out. So thankfully we've got tickets. There are seven wineries on the route. We're most probably gonna do four or five, depending on how drunk we get. And we're gonna take you to all of them. But this is gonna be a day of food, wine, and a little bit of luxury. Thinking about you about us, we got something special. Oh, it just feels right, you know. Hey, oh. oh, that is lovely. Good. That is the to their gardens which are meant to be out of this world. Come on, next one. Back o, let's go. You're on the telly. <laughs> It's got white chocolate in it. No, that's the butter. Oh, the butter's got chocolate in it. Is that good? <laughs> How good? You wait till you try that. Is that the best bread you've ever had? Oh, it's the best bread ever. I think it might be. <laughs> <laughs> it all makes so much sense. Look at it. That butter looks nuts. Oh, no. oh, good one. <laughs> I, say, I always fuck this up. Rolled off. Go again? No, that was just carrying on. That's a food. This is amazing. This yeah. is stunning. <laughs> this food is. So, so, good. Good. so, so good. Can that be saved? Well, shitty old turkey wings. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Was it? She old turkey and it tastes amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I even said that. <laughs> the nerve got to me. <laughs> so if you are gonna do the orange line like we have done today, which we would highly recommend, 
definitely save your lunch stock to Bako restaurant because that food was some of the best we've had in South Africa. To left, left to right. Hit a new girl. <laughs> <laughs> and then push it down. Oh, that, don't that. And then you've got to hold it in. You've got to hold it in and then. Put the wind it in. So now the bubbles is going to become much more fuzzy, bringing also out the lemon and thyme and the citrus characters. That's uh, lovely. Yeah, it's good, eh? Liv, you need to get the wine. Come on. <laughs> Swallow. Mm. Yeah, that's lovely. I like that. <laughs> what is it? Amazing. Yeah. Well, I think you're gonna enjoy the last one. Sorry, the third one. So the third one is also my personal favorite pairing, but also a lovely family, friends, get together, bride type of wine. No, no, I'm coming in Saudi, I'm coming in Franco moment. White, spicy, peppery, fruitful, the curious flavors on the nose as well, the raisins. Well, that goes well with your fudge, which is going to exactly give you that right indication. Thank you and good night. <laughs> <laughs> Mountains. We're going up Table Mountain and we're going to see what we can see because it's a little bit cloudy up there. Cracking views. A little bit rainy. A little bit foggy. Can't see anything. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Chef's Warehouse is a must visit for incredible food and the most unique location built into the cliff face of Chapman's Peak. Be sure to reserve early as spaces get booked up quick. something for me. Hello, so we are at Backoven Beach, which is right outside the villa that we're currently staying in. My parents left and spent five nights with all the rental. Two nights in one villa, three nights in another. We are right on the seafront. 
apostles are behind us. We've got lion's head just up here. Absolutely lovely little spot. Yeah. Lovely. Okay, so see ya. See ya. <laughs> in the air, heading over Table Mountain, all down the Cape. I am pretty nervous because I do not trust helicopters. But I'm sure it's going to be great. Let's go. It's great, DJ's great, it's good vibes to come to. Signal Hill for sunset. Another activity that you can do from Signal Hill is paragliding. What an epic experience, what a rush, and the absolute best views of the coastline of Cape Town. Lion's Head and the, from their rooftop and their rooftop is really lush it looks over out on the sea and I've just ordered a frozen espresso martini it is delicious and I've never actually had a frozen one before so if that's not convinced you to come here yet I don't know what will. How's the food? That is insane. That is so good. 
come to Landumno Beach, it's like 15 minutes from camp today. We had a new friend Washington who's now here and the sea here is freezing cold. So we're gonna see how long I can stay with my shoulders on the water. It's not gonna be very long. So, signing out from Cape Town. Our second time here and it is still our favourite city. We absolutely love it here. We can see ourselves living here. But for now, if you like what we do, then... Make sure you like and share and subscribe. Turn on those notifications so you don't miss another one of our videos. And we will see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao. So we've just got to a place, a winery, that we've wanted to come to for so long, but it was so... Make sure you like, make sure you should... So I've just taken a quick detour, and all of these houses were painted different colours as a form of self-expression. Whenever that happened, I'm not sure. Uh, I was hoping it fixed oh, somebody up. I was I was hoping it would fix. Oh. But it, you know you know the funny thing. <laughs> <laughs>